So we're going to start this video off with a lot of Jesus roleplay. We're going to be making a shit ton of wines. I've got 13.5k grapes, which for those of you who are new around here, I got them from Zolra. And I'm going to be using all of them because I want my cooking up and I need more space in my looting bag. So, uh, yeah, I put my looting bag at Zolra. This is how I'm currently making them. I'm buying jugs from the RFD chest. I know I can buy the noted ones, but this just seemed better because I get to make one more wine per inventory. I don't know. I'll figure things out eventually and I'll find out the best way to do it. But let's get a ton of cooking experience. Hey, there we go, 83 cooking. Decided to start recording now because I've decided to start using the noted jug method because it seems like it's a lot faster. Uh, because every time I decided to hop to buy more jugs because they only had 50 in stock in the RFD chest, the time that you spend hopping around worlds for the jugs, although it's only like one every, I don't know, three or four inventories, it does add up a lot and the noted jug method is actually a lot more AFK. I don't have to hop at all, so if it actually is slower XP, I don't even mind anymore because it allows me to AFK and, you know, not hate my life, so. And here we go, 85 cooking. The level that marks pretty much halfway on these grapes. And I can now make wild pies, which I can make for the Desert Elite Diary, which I'm definitely not going to complete for the next 17 years, so who cares. Oh my lord, it's done. 89 cooking, 13.5 thousand grapes later. Wow, that took a long ass time. Nearly 1950 total as well, and we're pretty close to 120 mil XP. Don't ask me what that signifies, it doesn't signify anything, so... Now we're gonna start moving on. I wanna keep trying to get the stuff out of my looting bag, so we're probably gonna do some smithing next. That took so long though. That took like a really, really long time. I think I've been doing cooking for about two to three days, if not more. Anyway, I'm gonna go get the stuff back from Zolra, because that's where I've had it all this time, and uh, we're gonna do some smithing. I did have to finish up the last, like, 200k XP with a regular RFD chest grapes, because I ran out of noted grapes, like, 200k to 89, and decided since I was already, like, halfway to the level, I'd just finish it up. Kind of want to get 90, because 89 bothers me, but we'll live. Hey, I'm ready for Blast Furnace, but first off, I planted the Spirit Tree like six days ago, and it's finally grown, so I get to check this thing, and I get to use it now. 20k XP, that is so cool. And here we go. The first level at my favorite place in the world. 77 smithing, but more importantly, 1950 total. 50 levels to go until the memes are gone. I don't really unlock anything special with that, but... Hey, 50 levels to go, I'm a happy man. Uh, so what I've been doing so far at Blast Furnace is I've been making mithril dart tips. Uh, these darts will be enough for 85 fletching, which means after I'm 85 fletching, I can start making my 20 billion magic logs into uh, longbows, which is going to be a ton of money and a ton of fletching XP, but I obviously need 85 to do that, so that's what this is for. And after that, I don't know how long I'm going to stay here. One thing I've noticed that's really annoying with the coal in your inventory is you only get to make four plate bodies per inventory instead of five. So that's honestly a huge turnoff in the experience department. So I don't know if I even want to keep the coal for making um, uh, plate bodies. I'll probably just drop it over for a bond. Like, I don't know. It's probably easier to just buy the coal from the... Um, from the shop rather than to use it from your inventory because that one extra plate body really really adds up so man i wasn't even paying attention but i did just get the 85 fletching i just decided to start making some super compost in all the bins i honestly have no idea how i got that but yeah 78 smithing i think when i logged out and the ores made i got a ton of xp from that and that just got me the level and i didn't notice i didn't get the message or anything so uh, I am so done with Blast Furnace, like I actually can't stand this place, so I don't know how I'm ever going to get 99 smithing, but we'll have to find that out another way. 
Um, now I'm gonna go fishing because I've been wanting to fish for a while, so yeah, I don't know, let's go fishing. Already a first fishing level, I've been here for like an hour. I three ticked most of this level, I'm probably not gonna keep doing that all the way to 80, which is what I'm going for. I just want to even that right row out to 80 at the moment, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna do three tick like every other hour or something maybe if I really get tired of fishing and I want to make it go as fast as possible I'll just three tick all of it I don't know we'll see You know you've been fishing too long when you get a strength level. There we go, 94 strength, 117 combat. Actually, that's not a new combat level, I'm not sure why I said that. Here we go, just a few fish away from 80 fishing. There we go, 80 fishing. I am done with fishing for now. I got pretty close to an agility level as well. So, yeah, that was actually a pretty fun thing to do. I enjoyed myself, like, legit. I thought I was going to AFK most of it, but after 77, I ended up 3-taking the rest of the way and it went by really really fast and I kind of enjoyed 3 ticking for whatever reason so uh, yeah that wasn't even that bad like I honestly thought that was gonna be a lot worse so when I'm gonna have to go for 91 for the Mori Elite in the uh, pretty far future I assume um, that won't be too bad I'll just 3 tick the whole thing should take like 30 hours which sounds pretty disgusting but um, next on the list we're finally going to start getting into like the main goal that I'm going for, and if you guys don't know what that is, I'm currently trying to get 78 herb lore because I want to do raids, I want to camp Sarah God Wars for the ACB, the SGS, and um, that's pretty much it, but uh, that's what I'm mainly working towards, and the whole reason why I'm doing these skilling grinds is to get 2k total, but that's more of like a side thing. The main thing that I'm working on is this herb lore grind. And the first thing I need to do that is to get an herb sack, and to do that I need a lot of slayer points, and to do that I need to boost for them or I need to just really slowly slay my way up to get 750 slayer points. So yeah, it's time for some slayer, I just got my little slayer stash going here and um, let's go, I think I have a black demons task actually right now, so I'm gonna go finish that. Okay, here we go, the black demons task is over. If you were wondering where that task is from, that was from when I got a Zenite shard like three months ago. So yeah, it's been a really long time since I've done Slayer and it's finally time to get back into the game. I'm thinking I'm just going to boost points with Terrail, then every 10th task go to Duradel. If that doesn't end up being fast enough, I might just do regular Slayer and call it quits, get some Slayer experience. Not sure why I teleported to Varric in the first place. But yeah, let's see how it goes. Oh my god, this task takes so long. Right when I'm going for points, I get like the longest task I could possibly have gotten. Alright, well, let's do it. Alright, there we go, the Abbey Demon task is finished. That took a long while, but I got, what, 13 Abbey Demon heads. Abbey, uh, insold Abbey Demon heads. Um, so what I need to do is I actually need to get the reanimate spells so I can just reanimate these as I get them. And then my inventory won't clutter up so much because I barely have any space for, you know, potions and stuff. So, um, I'll probably get those runes pretty soon and that's going to be some solid prayer XP as we're going for this, uh, herb sack. Speaking of prayer experience, there we go, 74 prayer. That actually gets me a combat level, nice. 118 combat now. Uh, 1958 total, Oh, look at this guy giving me a gratz. And we can now use rigor. So, you know, when we go to raids, I guess that's an option now. I mean, usually the prayer requirement isn't the problem. So I just completed a full gargoyles task, and if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm unlocking superiors, finally. After, you know, how, uh, how long have they been out? Like six months? Um, if you're wondering why I don't have these unlocked, the last time I've done any Slayer was like, I don't know, the first two weeks of release of this thing, and I never had enough points. So... Yeah, it's been that long since I've done any legitimate Slayer. Like, the last time I got a Slayer level was just hunting the Zenite Shard, which I was skipping using all my points, so yeah, it's been a while. So I've come to a bit of a realization. There is no point of boosting all these points. If I'm gonna do Slayer, which I need to do Slayer anyway, I need to get 93 for the Occult. 
I might as well just keep slaying until I get the herb sack through like legitimate tasks so that's what I'm gonna do oh that is such a shitty task this is probably why I didn't do it just because these I don't even know how you pronounce these like suckas sukas okay anyway we're gonna go kill some of these and um, I'm just gonna slowly get my herb sack through legitimate slayer and hopefully on the way we can do some Cerberus we can do Thermi get the occult and stuff like that so it'll be definitely a longer wait until we get 78 herb lore but it'll be worth it I mean in my opinion at least so this may just be the worst slayer task in existence but you wanna know what's not the worst level in existence 94 attack that's right so uh, I'll make you guys a deal right now okay if I don't get a Brian Saber on this task I'm gonna delete my YouTube channel that's confirmed you heard it here first Steve, I thought we were friends, man. Two 18 Abbey Demons. These take like 20 years, dude. I really don't want to do another Abbey Demon task. Ugh. And I'm like 4 billion dry for a whip. Why? I never thought I'd see the day. I never thought. I never thought I would. Oh my god. Second Abbey Whip ever. Let's just check the KC real quick, okay? Um, 3.5k, 3.561, uh, don't pay attention to the consecutive, my first whip ever was on 1885, which means, okay, I'm like, what, 1.7 for this one? But yeah, I'm gonna call it there for the video with the, uh, second Abby whip ever. Thank you everyone for watching, leave a like as usual, thank you so much for 10k subscribers, Q&A should be out soon. And, uh, thank you for the support in general. Like, the last video, the, uh, Zolra one has, like, nearly 1,000 likes. That is insane. I actually can't believe it. So, thank you so much for everything, guys, and I will see you in the next video.